Hi, it's Nancy Jutton, the Get Known, Get Paid mentor, the author of Bye Bye Boring Bio 2020, the workbook, and the leader of the Raise Your Voice, Make Your Impact Facebook group. And today I have the privilege of interviewing an amazing expert in the author space who has some powerful practical information that can help you create a whole flood of new people rushing to take interest in your book. And if you're excited about that, Stop everything and give this video your full attention because we are all of the help, none of the hype. You're going to get so much value. Oh my gosh. Who is with me today? Tamara Monasoff. Tamara Monasoff is a dear friend of mine, but her credentials will astound you. Her popular online author to income formula program, her make money with free webinars and her done for you launch programs are loved by students and are known to accelerate their success. She's a social entrepreneur, a number one best-selling business author, a media contributor, a digital marketing expert, consultant, professor, speaker, and leading voice for women in business. She's the founder of TamaraMonasop.com, a website dedicated to showing authors how to build high-profit businesses. And oh, by the way, she's a former Clinton White House advisor and U.S. Department of Education Chief of Staff for Adult Education. Isn't that memorable? <laughs> Tamara, thank you so much for making time to be here today. Nancy, it's such a pleasure to be here with you. I'm so excited about your Bye Bye Boring Bio, so it thrills me to be here with you. I'm super excited about it too, and the cover is so pretty. Oh hey. my gosh, I'm so excited about it. <laughs> well, anyway, let's talk about bios for the book. I mean, you've helped so many people become Amazon number one best-selling authors. You are an Amazon best-selling author yourself. And there are bios for all different kinds of occasions, but there is one bio that people forget completely about, and that's the bio I wanted you to teach us about today. Yes, it's really part of your Amazon profile. And I think that authors often don't even think about it. You're, you know, when you're working on your book, you're so focused on your book, but it's really what comes after your book, you've launched your book, you've published it on Amazon, and what is an often missed opportunity is your bio right there on Amazon that can be such an incredible opportunity for you, and I'll show you what I mean, but it really helps magnify your message right there from within Amazon, and also, as you know, Amazon keeps all of the contact data. So the, how are you going to have all the millions of people are on Amazon shopping every single day? How are you going to invite them from Amazon to get to know you better? And that's exactly what your, basically your digital bio on Amazon can provide. And what the beautiful thing is, Nancy, is that when people use your, your workbook to craft a magnificent bio, they can just copy paste it and put it right into their Amazon bio. And then I can give you some pointers on ways to capture people's attention and drive them back to your respective web pages, opt-in pages, wherever you want them to go directly from Amazon. I can't wait for you to teach us all of that. And I wanna point out one other thing is that as the date of today is June, 2020, we are in the, aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic where many people are not able to shop at traditional retail stores wherever they may be in the United States or the world. And so which retail store is getting more eyeballs than just about any other on the planet? It's amazon.com. So if we want to broadcast our brilliance and get our work in front of the right people, it is a huge upside opportunity for us to have a beautiful Amazon central profile and so why don't you just screen share a little bit and show us where this is, where we're going to find it, and how we can work with it to our advantage. Okay, I'm happy to do that. And let me just say this. If you are a speaker or you want to be a speaker or you're a trainer or you are using your book to help get your message out to the world, whatever it is, this is one fantastic way to amplify that message right from Amazon. So let me share your sc my screen <laughs> and go right here. And then Nancy, let me know, can you see this? I absolutely can. Okay, so once you've published your book, 
your name appears underneath it. Now your name will not, you can see that my name is blue, which means it's hyperlinked. Oftentimes this will be grayed out. And this is where the missed opportunity is that I wanna make sure that every single author or every speaker who just chooses to bring their brilliance uh, to the world through a book, that this is your opportunity right here. So when you click on it, you're gonna see that this is now linked to all of my books. And not only that, I want you to take note that there is a follow button underneath your photo. Let me unfollow myself. And this is what it will look like, okay? to people who are visiting you for the first time, when they click on your name link from your book, they're gonna see this yellow follow button. And then your bio is going to appear underneath. And I'll tell you more about that and how to do that in just a minute. But the beautiful thing is that your books are all listed along the top, and then you can also add video. So if you have a video message, that even about your book, like I have a book, I have one of my books that I wrote, I did an introduction about what my readers were going to learn and gain from reading my book. And so this is the perfect opportunity for you to uh, share with your readers the benefit to them of taking time out of their busy schedule uh, to learn from you. And so, I highly suggest that you include videos here on your bio page. You can also link it, as you can see, to my blog posts. So every time I do a new blog, it immediately populates right onto this, uh, onto the, the page. So, okay. and then you'll see that. Can I ask okay. a question? Yes. So go back up to where the video is. You know how there are different kinds of videos? You can upload one to YouTube. You can the different formats, like what format is easy to upload to um, the author central profile? An MP4. Okay. So I'll show you that on the back end in just a minute, what you oh, can do. Oh, great, good. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, and also just so you know, if you have embedded a video on your blog, like I have here, see how I say watch video? Mm -hmm. uh, that when they click on it, which I won't go there now, but it will take you to my blog and then there's a, a video right there. So you can, on your bio page, I suggest you have a video introducing your book so people get to know you and, and um, what you're all about. And then you can have your uh, videos in your blog that then reinforces your knowledge and what you're sharing and share generously. Uh, because as you know, when you share generously, then people wanna learn more from you. Brilliant. Okay, so now let's go on the back end. The, the thing, the reason why I think a lot of authors miss this opportunity is because when you go to publish your book on Kindle Direct Publishing, which now you publish both your paperback and your Kindle book on Kindle Direct Publishing. So when you do that, you are not able to put, you can just put your author name, but there's no opportunity from within Kindle Direct Publishing to put your bio in this way. So that's why you have to go to Author Central. Whoops, let me move this down so you can see the URL. So right here, you'll go to authorcentral.amazon.com. And once you log in, and by the way, I'm, I know Nancy, I'm <laughs> going a little bit deeper than probably um, we have time for, but just really quickly because it's so important. The first time you log into Author Central, uh, you need to go to the books tab along the top. And, and then in a minute, I'm gonna show you your author page. But with the books tab, why this is so important is you actually have to claim your book. So once you've published your book on Amazon, you need to go and claim your book. Basically, when I say claim it, meaning that you are saying you are the author of this book. And then once you do, you just click on that add more books. Once you do, then you've claimed your books and they show up right here. And then, then they'll also pre-populate onto your author central page. It's just important that you don't miss that step. Brilliant. Then you move over to the author page. Now, this is the back end. If you recall, remember when I showed you the author page and on the left-hand column, there was the yellow follow button, mm -hmm. and then there is the column with your bio. This is where you create that. It is not obvious because you don't know where that yellow follow button is, and there's no information about it. I just discovered it as I was playing with this. I'm so like, wait a minute. What if you tell people, be sure and click on the yellow follow button, because what is so exciting is that when they do, anything that you publish on Amazon 
they will get an email notification directly from Amazon. Nothing thrills me more than when I follow my authors and then they posted something on Amazon and then I get an email notification directly from Amazon in my inbox. So that's another powerful tool is you now get Amazon working for you. And then what I have done over time is learned like, okay, yes, this is where you put your bio and your fabulous information about your, your experiences following Nancy's format. And this is where you share how you're going to help your audience, your readers. And at the very top, however, this is your opportunity to put a link. They don't let you hyperlink in your, in your bio because Amazon wants to keep you on Amazon. However, if you still put the link to something free, that is fabulous. Like here, I've got how to hit number one on Amazon. So if you go here, then it's free. And then you get people to opt in directly from your bio. They have to copy paste it, which is why I put a note, just copy paste the URL into your favorite browser. They copy paste that then, oh my gosh, from Amazon, you now have received an opt in and now you get to start to nurture that relationship over time. So, so it is, say, let me just say, if you have a book coming out in 90 days and you, have an irresistible opt-in gift to share right now that would get people into your world. What a fantastic opportunity, right? It's an incredible opportunity. You can't set up your author central page until you have published a book. So that's an important step, but yes, absolutely right spot on Nancy, that this is your opportunity to get opt-ins, to get people to follow you, to make that connection uh, with your readers and audience. And to me, it's like the beginning of your journey together with people and how you can help them over time. And they may not even have bought your book. Maybe they just saw that, that wonderful freebie, as you said, Nancy, or that gift. And they're like, wow, that's, a, that's speaking to me right now. I want to go get that. Then you've already captured their name and email. And may, again, whether they purchase your book now or not. Brilliant. The other, yeah. And then the other thing is, like, as you can see, the second thing is I have a link to my courses. So it's like, oh, if this is a topic that they've searched for, they landed on my book, they found me, and they're like, wow, okay, I get this freebie. And then, oh, let me learn more about what her offering is. Then your link is right there. After that, I put click to fo the follow button above to be the first to hear about books, um, book updates and news. Again, getting Amazon's algorithms and machinery to work for you. And then underneath that is when you go into your background and your bio and all of those wonderful details, um, again, that you can learn in Nancy's program. Love that. Well, so, um, so for those of you who already have books and you've never taken advantage of your author central profile, my suggestion is that you check out Tamara Monasoff on, on Amazon Central and do a little, what I lovingly call R&D, rob and duplicate, but make it your own so that you can, you're not reinventing the wheel, you're just getting your wheels to turn faster because you've been shown this brilliant example. And let me just take you over here, Nancy, just, just so people can see the full, length of what you can do on the right. See, I just want to show you, this is where you add your photo. So this is your, my bio photo, which you saw mm -hmm. easily manage it. That lets you delete and change photos or add new photos here. You can add your videos, same thing. And then this is where you, you um, add your blog if you have one. Right. Oh, and let me just show you one other thing. This is where you can edit I'm showing you this because sometimes people make a mistake. So this is where you'll actually go in. You can see that I can be typing right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see that. And then you hit preview and then make sure that you save. Do not go to close first or you're gonna lose everything you saved. I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> I always like to share my mistakes. Uh, so be sure and save your bio right here. And then once you save it, I'm gonna just show you where you can go and just preview it yourself right here, just to see how it looks. And then it takes you right over and you're like, it's over here on the side. And you know, I'm gonna follow myself, but that would be, uh, you can go down and you can see, and uh, you, know, you can put anything that makes sense in there for your bio. And that's it. So let me ask you, um, are you able to find Nancy Jutton since you've got your screen open? Because I think I want to show everyone what I did this morning because I knew we were meeting today. Um, 
This is your. That's one. That's one of my Kindle books. Okay. Why don't you look at Bye Bye Boring Bio? Just B Y E dash B Y E news oh, dash. dash Boring Bio. Are you in the Kindle store? You're in the Kindle store. Go okay. into. The Sorry, <laughs> I'm like, where is it? It's okay, it, let me just look under books. Okay, yes, it'll be here. Aha! So there it is. So if you click on my um, Nancy Jutton name, I want to show you what I did this morning because I knew we were talking. I already have books on Amazon, so I was able to upload the cover of my preview of Bye Bye Boring Bio 2020 on the far left hand cover. You see the blue and green? And then yes, I, right here. Uh huh. And then it says, click on the follow button to be the first to hear about Nancy's book, Nancy's made yes. a career out of. And then I, if you scroll down and hit on the read more, I have to do what you've said, but I've got the link there, Bye Bye Boring Bio 2020. That's where people can go to go get it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the words that you said, go ahead and cut and paste and share so that I can make it easy for people to find it. And I would take this link right here and I'd put it right up at the top. Okay, excellent. So, in fact, I would even put it after about Nancy Jutton, even above the follow button. It's more important that they go check out your URL than get to, then the the follow button's secondary to this. And so, I would a uh, first thing I'd put the link and say, "Hey, so excited! It's coming out. Check it out." Uh, you know, and, and just copy paste it to your favorite browser. Love that. See, this is what I I love to teach people is like even though I know a lot about publicity and marketing, I don't know everything. So I'm a student of experts like you so that I can benefit from your brilliance and then share it with the people that I get to serve. And so it's imperfect action taken every single day and onward we go, right? Yes, and it's also really being willing to try new things and to recognize that, I mean, I'm just so grateful for all of the, technology we have today, uh, just given <laughs> where we started out when I was in business, we were like, I remember working on a logo and we were FedExing the logo back and forth across the US. It's like, oh my gosh. And now with our digital world, it's like, I feel like it's a gift to us because now we can, uh, you know, no matter if you're just starting out for your first time as an author or speaker, uh, whether or you're an experienced coach or author speaker, that it really is, um, these tools just help really, um, as we were talking about earlier, just really magnify that message so in such a powerful way. And so I'm thrilled to uh, just to be here with you, Nancy, and I love that you're teaching others and speaking to other experts about really how to do that, how to be able to take a big stand and become more visible. Well, thank you for so much for sharing. I want to give ask you one more question if I may which is you're a big fan of making books interactive would you yes. just make a few comments about what that is why it matters and maybe a tip or two about how to apply it sure yeah so I've been making my books interactive before they were being interactive I, I was published by McGraw Hill at the beginning and I remember saying I want people's videos to jump off the page and I remember <laughs> my publisher was like that's great, but what? <laughs> and so that's where I really put my head down to figure out how do we create those personal touches throughout a reader's journey? And if you're a nonfiction, well, fiction or nonfiction, but specifically for nonfiction, I think it's so important because it's essential that people get to know you and trust you in a personal way. And there's nothing that can do that more quickly than through video. Uh, if you're not, you know, of course, live events is one way. But if we, especially now, we're doing most things on video. And I think that by the end, I remember people telling me that when I made my books interactive, I think it was at, at 2016 was my, my first book that I did that, that people feel like they knew me, like I was their friend uh, by the end of the book. And so, and then the other piece of this, Nancy, which I know with your PR background that you will totally relate to, 
is I had, you know, CBS, NBC, all these different networks contacting me and saying, oh my gosh, I didn't read your book, but I scanned all the QR codes and what an incredible story. And I love some of the guests that you, you feature or the people you featured as well. And so it actually turned and translated into TV opportunities for me. And not only that, I was able to share the stories of the other people I was featuring and bringing them along uh, so that they were also being lifted up. Um, so it, it goes beyond just your book and the one reader that in fact, making your book interactive, it, it brings it to life in such a powerful way that you don't even realize all the opportunities that can come from making the time and the um, intention to, to bring your book to life in this way. Um, because you can't even imagine speaking opportunity. I, my, my clients get speaking opportunities. They're, they, they're asked to lead workshops, groups. Um, I had one of my clients that did two, uh, two network TV shows on CBS last week. Um, so this is the, the thing. It's like, it just, it magnifies everything. And it, here it is your book, right? So it's a powerful tool that really um, needs to be taken very seriously. And I know it's like we get so in wrapped up in, in the content of our book, but now I'm asking people to say, okay, you've, a, you've created this an amazing book. Now let's just take it up another 10 notches, turn up the volume. <laughs> and so that we can really make it a powerful tool for you and your business. Well, I'm really glad we talked about that because there was something I learned a number of years ago. You know, those of us who love words and love writing, we think that words and writing is the primary medium that everyone else appreciates. But in today's day and age, if you don't have video, if you don't have audio, if you don't have some way to bring it alive, you may miss two thirds of your audience because people are so wired to get things instantly, get things now. And remember that it's about creating a connection and a relationship with a reader or a viewer or a buyer of your program so that they can't wait to dig in and go even deeper with whatever else that you might have to offer. The book for many people is the beginning of a much bigger opportunity to work with an expert of world-class quality, which brings me to an interesting question. I know you have many pots on the stove and many high priorities, but I'm pretty confident that people who are meeting you today are going to want to follow you on Amazon, of course, but is there anything you'd like to share with our viewers today so that they can um, participate somehow, perhaps in, in leading their way to the authored income formula or some of your online training? I would be happy to. I can give you a, a link, Nancy, that uh, people can have. One of the tools that I offer for free, uh, whether you sign up for anything or not, I just love giving this away because I have had so many authors use this successfully. It's how to introduce your book on video and it's a template and it's a fill in the blank template that prompts you. It's only, I think, I think there are only seven steps. If you're a nonfiction author and there's, it's, I think you, it's, I've got five steps if you're a fiction author and it's so funny. The reason why I created the template was because here we are, We've been living and breathing our manuscripts and our books. We know this inside and out. And yet, when we think about going on camera to speak about our book, oftentimes it's like, I have no idea what to say. <laughs> and, right? And then the last thing you want to do is ramble on for 10 minutes about your book because people don't have long attention spans and they want to know immediately if this book is worth taking their time to read it. How is it going to, you need to say, how is it going to help me as the reader? How, and, and so anyway, so I have this template. I'm happy to give your audience and your friends and community um, that will help prompt you through so that you can create a script. I'm not kidding. You can have a script in 10 minutes and ready to start practicing until you feel like you, it's just flowing. Um, but you can actually write out your script in just a few minutes. Well, where can we go to get that? I will give you the link. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, stay tuned for that and be sure to put it in the show notes because I'm pretty sure that's going to be one of those run, forest, run in your direction moments because that's, again, it's one of those things that goes often ignored or missed because those, anyone who's ever written a book, by the time you finished your book, you're so sick of your book that <laughs> new ways to do great things with the book, you might have fatigue. 
but what I love about what we're talking about today is we're learning ways to share our message in more ways that can give lift to the launch and give us the opportunity to serve even more people. And that's really the whole purpose for what brought us to bring pen to paper in the first place. So. It's so true. And Nancy, I just want to say one other thing. And that is, if there are people who are listening to this right now and they're thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I'm an introvert. I don't want to go on camera. There are all different opportunities for you too. And what I mean by that is I have authors who are creating audiograms. I have a little uh, tutorial on how to create an audiogram. Well, what's an audiogram? It feels like a live um, audio, you know, has the moving radio bar and you can uh, have pictures of yourself and it's just a photo, but it feels more engaging because it's an audiogram. So you can embed those in your book. You can have just audios. I have, I'm working with a client now who is a beautiful musician and she's doing coaching and she's using this as a, her book as an opportunity to coach and to speak. However, she weaves her music into her speaking and uh, her all of her events, she's always playing music as well. So she's also sprinkling songs throughout her book. Okay. So, and yeah, I know her own music. And so I just am saying that for anyone who's feeling any sort of resistance to the making your book interactive, that it doesn't have to be one way. In fact, it's really fun to think about, okay, where, where do I feel good in terms of, you know, do I feel good if doing an audio? Then do an audio. Don't let it, video holds you back. And then if you feel compelled, like with this template that I give you and you practice with this, you know, very simple template that will be at the end, you'll be able to offer up a minute or two minute long video all about what your book's about. If you um, feel compelled to do that, then you can, but to not be held back uh, just because you think, oh, it's only video. You, there, you can make your book interactive in all different ways. Well, what an eye opening interview what generosity you shared i am so incredibly grateful to you for uh, revealing these little known things that can make such a huge impact tamara monasoff i love you so much i'm so grateful that we met that one day at a live event we were both wearing royal blue dresses in the front <laughs> row and who knew that such a beautiful friendship would take root to grow i just can't say enough about my admiration and appreciation for you um, Thank, Thank you for being as busy as you are. I know that folks will be rushing to get that template and rushing to learn more about you on Amazon. And my invitation for everyone who's watching is let me hear from you about how your Amazon central profile takes shape and how beautiful it is and how productive it is for you and bringing you the results, the clients, the connections, and the cash that you want in your growing business as you raise your voice and make your impact. So Tamara, thank you so much. And if you've loved this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the red bell so you never miss another all the help, none of the hype training from yours truly, Nancy Jutton, the Get Known to Get Paid Mentor. Thank so you thank so you. much, Nancy. I loved every minute. I adore you. And I hope that everybody reads Bye Bye Boring Bio and follows your guidance because you are brilliant and we need it. We need all of the, the, the help we can get to get our message out there. So thank you so much for having me today. It was truly my pleasure. Thank you. Mwah. Take care.